right, welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limpool. Hands together, head back. Nice to see you. This is a support video for Power Tools, a new library for Serum that we've released. I'm gonna show you the wavetables. I'm gonna show you how to get really rude sounds. We're gonna make a, uh, well, I'm including six, I, how many do I have now? I have six now, so it'll be seven patches, bonus patches that I've made, along with NATO Fields, uh, 128 patches inside this library when you buy it and download it if you get it after seeing this video because when this video is live this update for these patches will be live if you own this library you're going to get an email from me to download a new version of the library which includes these patches okay so first i want to show you the patches that i've created so far there's angry argument it's got glide on All sorts of weird. And then the effect. Okay. It's angry argument. Uh, pointed opinions. I've been watching the debates. Can you tell? Amazing how flexible you can get. There's all sorts of stuff to explore in these. Uh, here's Feel the Burn. Rude. I'm gonna show you how to get this stuff going. The trick, if you notice, is this setting right here. Uh, most off, often it's the FM, but FM synthesis is where you get to the rude stuff. So I'll show you. There. film moments uh drone this is boogeyman and again there's a ton of stuff to play and discover in the uh, preset settings and knobs and so forth um this was a copy of the uh this there's a pop song so there's you can do all that kind of stuff you can do all made from the noise and then I have it changing pitch if you, if you look at the click it's changing the volume and the pitch the wave tables all at the same time so so this will be in this library stab you in the back and this has a decay so you can get more uh, future bass kind of thing okay so those six patches plus one more we're going to make in a minute are included in this library let me show you quickly the rudeness i also want to talk about global mode there's a couple settings you should know about make sure that you decide whether or not you want this on or off usually you would want it off it means it's going to eat more polyphony but like for the my libraries mega magic dreams um mega magic bells and winds if you play a sample and then play that same note over and over again it cancels the previous note if this button is lit up because it limits polyphony to only one note on the same pitch same note only can play one note so turn that off the other one you want to make sure you turn on is double click for the uh, ability to like double click to put in values that has to be set by turning this on okay and then make sure you hit the little floppy icon up here to save your preferences so that it remembers them okay we're in it so fm I love FM, worked with FM since the DX7 was introduced. And I went and saw it in Portland, Oregon, where I live now at a Red Lion <laughs> by the water a long time ago. So the, the basic core of FM is you want to have, um, let's go here to one of these guys. It's got a nice sine wave. What a nice sine wave for this. This becomes, in FM, you have two sources. You have the carrier, and then you have the modulator. You start with a sine wave here, turn on B, 
and then you go down here and you say FM from B. And you can turn down the volume of B so you don't hear this because we're now going to bring in this, this B oscillator into A. And once you start playing through the wavetable, and then <laughs> it gets really insane. Go over here and add one of the sync or something. And then you'd go, of course, over here to the LFO, have this change. This wavetable. Let's have it be just an envelope. And let's have it pop this up. And you can get all sorts of gross. Okay, so you can get insanely gross uh, very quickly just by using the FM, turning down the volume of B, and then using the, the sync or some of these other options along wavetables to beat up on a sine wave. Uh, if, if you make this something other than a sine wave, it's gonna change its tonality and typically lose the body, um, which is okay. Because you have a sub right here, you can say direct out, take it down. Then shape it how you need it to fit into your track. Okay? So there's your obscene. The last thing I want to show you real quick is the wavetables. And we're going to make a sound in a minute with these of the power tools. There's some really cool different kind of wavetables in here. Let's see it in 3D and let's take an LFO and let's assign it to the wavetable. And let's say maybe uh, a one major or a half major. So you have some really cool growly kind of things. Not your typical. We're gonna come back to this one. This is actually gonna make a trumpet in a minute. Now, how would you use something like this? Notice how this, half of it's obscene, kind of shapey, noisy stuff, and the rest is a wavetable, just waveform, right? Well, if you set it to envelope so it doesn't cycle, shape all sorts of clunky bases can be made that way this is cool for that's from a wavetable so the wavetables aren't just automatically set them to an LFO that does a wobble thing and you're happy you can do more than that set it to the envelope shape and uh, control the shape of the envelope, this one segment. And that's like your envelope shape for the decay. Okay? Let's go back to LFO shape. So we say go back to here. Cool chorusy elements. And remember, that's just one oscillator, so. Very cool. Okay, 
So you get the idea. Really cool stuff. But let's go back to one of these early ones. Let's set it to envelope. Sounds like the spit of a trumpet, right? Okay, let's add a filter. And let's have this filter shape follow the same kind of crazy well kind of that we got. There. I need to be faster, so it's just speed up the. Maybe turn off BPM soon. Let's turn on this oscillator and run it through the filter. Let's maybe use another os envelope on the filter. Cool, cool attack shape to it. Let's get the release of the filter. So. I'm going to shorten this. So it's bringing the filter down during that release of the note. Let's flush it out a little bit more. Um, let's add some compression to it and chorus. Reverb and so we took a wavetable that had a kind of a noise element to it, and we've used it for the chiffy. Just yeah, that's kind of a cool synth breath kind of sound. Okay, we'll flush it out. It will be in the library with the other patches. So enjoy the patches. Enjoy this library. It's a killer library. I've gotten really great reviews. People are using it all over the place in cool tracks already. That's great. Great for the feedback. Thank you. Thank you for your support. And we'll see you in another video soon. Thanks.